Brad. Mark. Y you've, you've been around the internet scene for quite a while. I've been, I've been around the block. You've been around the block at least a time or two. Yep. What was your expectations when you were coming here to the mansion? I had low expectations. Tell, tell us um, more. Well, you know, a lot of events are um, poorly poorly organized um, and some of them you know very in fact most more often than not they're poorly organized and so I you know when, when you guys invited me my, my I, I kind of set my expectations low maybe I'm too skeptical anyway um, but I thought to myself hey you know what worst case scenario I hang out at this awesome mansion with you guys for you know a, a week and how bad could that be I feel like um, I mean, here's the thing. We all <clears throat> work with people who need help a lot of the time, and we're always creating products. <clears throat> but the net effect of that isn't always massive. Whereas here, we're witnessing change in a way that we don't normally see it. You know, these are people who... Um, I didn't see them on day one because I wasn't here, but I heard a lot of stories about sort of them coming out of their shells. And I've seen, just in the, in the you know, couple of days I've been here, huge transformations in people. We're not talking about, you know, uh, people becoming rich. We're talking about people being empowered to um, actually create things and follow through and, and, and ship, as opposed to just get caught up in the minutia and, and quit at the 98% point. Um, and so I think there's a lot of... Um, um, change happening here and it's awesome to be a part of it like it feels awesome would you be a part of it again hell yeah you shocked me completely today had a, a huge effect on one of our uh, of one of our own yeah can you tell us about that experience today Jack Hopman. Um, this guy started out, he was, I mean, he was a little awkward. You know, the first day I met him, I didn't see him smile. And, you know, his body language conveyed someone who was very uncomfortable in the environment, and you could see that he had a real um, social barrier to deal with. You know, there's a language barrier for him, there's a social barrier. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that internet marketers, most of them are introverts, but they've just figured out how to be more extroverted through that introversion. Okay, so um, we all have to go through that transformation. We, you know, we we choose to be at home behind our desk all day for a reason because we don't want to deal with the real world on one, on one level or another. And so we're all kind of introverts in our own way, but we learn to come out of our shell through this process. And like today was a 180 from his personality yesterday, and you know we we kind of helped him embrace. The elephant in the room, which was we all thought he looked like, you know, a, a Mike Myers character from a Saturday Night Live sketch from, from the, you know, the early 90s Sprockets. He didn't realize what we were even talking about because he hadn't, he didn't know the reference. And so we showed him some YouTube videos last night. He got his head around it. And, you know, Anthony Aries this morning kind of laid into him and said, you need to embrace this character and make him your persona. And um, so today when we went back to the, to the room uh, to, to get working, I jumped right in. I picked up my iPhone and I and I you know directed him, coached him, you know did a couple of takes, showed him how to yell at the camera in a way that you know was awesome. It was hilarious, by the way. And and we literally made this guy go viral on Facebook in a matter of minutes. You know, you helped and William helped and uh, Don Wilson. A bunch of us kind of all. I put the videos up. Everybody started sharing them. Before we knew it, the comments were going wild and people were like, "Who is this guy?" Right. And so we've we've helped to build buzz for someone who yesterday I wouldn't have thought twice about helping. You know today he kind of, he, he woke up a changed man. I don't, I don't know, I think it was a combination of all the things that happened yesterday and this morning, but I think um, he's going to be somebody to watch in the future because he's flipped. It's amazing. It's amazing. Brad Goss, Changing Lives. Thank you so much.